Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to do a beautiful, beautiful practice that is going to be about 30 minutes long. Uh, it's really, really going to use and utilize your core. So this is all about the core and the strength that you have within your core, right? So I am going to be guiding you through a lot of different asanas, a lot of different shapes that are really going to be using that transverse abdominals, that abdominals, that muscle that basically sort of cinches you in and it gives you a lot of, lot of power and a lot of strength when you're doing your yoga practice. So we're going to start with a beautiful mudra today and we're going to be doing a uh, flowing again with, with this mudra. This is one of my favorites, very basic, just in the finger to thumbs on each hand. It is your chin mudra. You're just going to bring that mudra to your knees right here. Let me back down a little bit here. And you're going to go ahead and close your eyes. Centering yourself. Really breathing. So good to give you a sense of peace, a sense of calmness in your practice, in your space. And keeping your water with you. Cross your arms and bring your right hand to your left shoulder. So uh, basically interlace your hands here, close your eyes here, just sense your energy. And then slowly from here, you're going to bring the hands up, keep your cross here, leave your hands up. So you're still with your mudra here, just hands to the sky. Last breath here, inhale, and slowly releasing your mudra, and slowly, slowly, slowly with your fingers, let the air out. Let's come to our mats. Starting in child's pose here, come to your mudra in your hands, index to thumbs, and just settle here. Find the space, find the breath. The connection. Last inhale, full exhale. From child's pose, we're gonna do something a little bit different here. We're gonna come on up, sit on your heels if you can. A block is wonderful, by the way, and bring your right hand to your left. I'm gonna turn around here. Left hand to your, sorry, right hand to your left shoulder, left hand to your right shoulder, and close your eyes. Bringing the hands to the sky, crossing your arms here. Open mudra here with you. Breathe. Two. Down, flow with me, guys. Big breath in. Big breath out. Cross your arms. In, feel coming up. Cross your arms. Breathe. Exhale, open up as you go down. Open up your arms, inhale. Exhale, hugging yourself here, keep the mudra, breathe out. Coming up, cross your arms, inhale. And exhale, breathe out. One more, you guys, big breath in, open the heart, the chest. Exhale, cross it. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Let's practice, guys. Coming to your hands and to your knees. Downward facing dog. First down dog of your practice. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Bicycle your heels. 
just settling here into your space in your breath. And start to walk your hands back towards your feet, one handstand at a time, till you reach the back of the mat, grabbing opposite elbows, separate your feet as much as you need to, bend your knees, sway side to side, just set, let, it, let it go here, surrender. And slowly release your hands up. Coming up to standing so slowly, you're barely moving. Inhale, bring the hands to the sky, cross your arms here, come to the mudra here, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands opposite, shoulders spread out. Inhale, up. Exhale, opposite, shoulders spread out. One more, you guys. Inhale, up. Swan dive forward, exhale, fold, spread out. Halfway lift, hands to your shins, look up. Work your hands forward, coming into plank pose. Stay here in plank, push the mat away from you. Take a full breath in. Lower all the way down to the mat. Exhale, breathe out, point your toes down. Bringing your hands forward, coming up. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down. Two more like that. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down. One more, you guys. Let's go. Inhale, breathe. And exhale down. Downward facing dog. Pressing your hips back, surrendering here. Breathing. Take a full breath in. And side out, breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and step or hop top of your mat. Half lift, turns to your shins, look up. Exhale, fold. Same here, you guys. Come on up, hands to the sky. When you come up, cross your arms here, mudra here. Inhale. Exhale, crossing it. Breathe out, bow your head. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive forward, breath out. Halfway lift, hands to your shins. Hands to the mat, step your feet back, owner of your knees, lowering down, low push up. Up dog or baby cobra, open your chest, breathe here, open. Downward facing dog, exhale, press your hips back, breathe out. Three of your deepest breaths here, just sensing your space, your breath. Good, bend your knees as much as you need to. Let it go here. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop top of your mat. Half lift, lengthen, breathe. Fold, press with your heels, coming up, hands to the sky. When you come up, inhale, cross your arms here, breathe. Exhale, opposite elbows, spread out. Inhale, up, cross your arms. Swan dive forward, fold, spread out. Half lift, lengthen. Hands to the mat, step your feet back, honor of your knees, lower down, low push up, halfway here, guys. Up dog or baby cobra, squeeze your legs here like you're squeezing a block, breathe. Down dog, exhale, breath out. Let him go here, breathe out. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. One more sun salutation, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop. Half lift, turns to your shins, look up. And then fold, rise and breathe. Inhale, cross your arms, breathe. Opposite shoulders, bow your head. Hands to the sky, inhale, one last one. Bow as you exhale, fold, breath out. Half lift, lengthen. Hands to the mat, step your feet back, honor of your knees, chaturanga. Up, up. Down, down. All right, we're gonna move on. Setting a flow here. Breathing. Just letting go. Bring your right leg up to the sky. Hip height here, nothing crazy. Try to keep your hips really square here. Good. Really, really keep that right leg really engaged. Squeeze your inner thigh here. Good. Take one more. Inhale, exhale, middle nose. Breathe out. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, breathe out. Keep your hips squared, you guys. Squeeze that leg, breathe. And on the exhale, step it. Coming up to crescent lunge, all right? Start with your hands on your hips, all right? Engage your core here, really engage it, right? The tendency is to go like this, not good for the spine. Really engage your core, belly button up and in, and basically tuck your tailbone under right here. Breathe, really feeling 
stable here in the hip joint, all right? And once you're ready, with your mudra. Bring this towards the midline here. Good. Sensing, really feeling strong here. Everything's engaged for five. Four. Last breath in, bring in your chest forward, bring opposite hands, all right? It's two opposite shoulder here. Chest forward, again, engage your core, guys. Really the strength is coming. Three. Two. Last breath in, and slowly, you're gonna bring your left knee up, cross your arms here, and bring your left knee up. Good. Really, really squeeze that right outer hip, you know, into the socket. Really making sure you're really feeling stable here. You can always stop it here right away. Breathe, flex your left foot here. That gives you a lot of strength here. Good, two, last breath in. And on the exhale, big ass, and keep your mudra here. Again, really squeeze your back leg, open up the chest here. And really find the, the, the the strength from your core. Good. Let's flow, guys. Inhale. Exhale, chest forward, breath out. Left knee to your chest, breathe. Use your core. And the asana airplane pose, breath out. One more, let's go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, use your core here, breathe. Slowly come back up, inhale, taking a vinyasa or straight to down dog, your choice. Up dog, and baby, come up, open. Down dog, exhale, breath out. Same thing on the left side, guys, let's do it. Left leg up, breathe. Step it right through, exhale. Come on up, start with your hands on your hips, tuck your tailbone down, belly button opening. Really finding that strength here. And when you're ready, hands up to the sky, Pinkies towards the midline, finding the mudra here, finding the space for five, four, really feel strong here, strong joint hip, uh, strong, <laughs> strong hips here, the joint is super stable here, really breathe, three, two, last breath in, chest forward, belly button opening guys, Really breathe here. Lengthen through the spine. Letting go here. For three. Two. Last breath in. And slowly come on up. Right knee to your chest. Breathe here. Good. Flex your right foot here. Like you're stepping on a step here. Cross your arms. Belly button up and in. Two. Last breath in, Vigasana, airplane pose. Really find the space here, find the breath. Keep your hips square. For three, open up your chest. Two, last full breath in, last full breath out. Flow with me, bend your left knee, drop your back foot. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, cross your arms, breathe. And exhale, digas and a breath out. One more, shall we? Come on up, inhale. And exhale. And inhale, breathe. And digas and a. Exhale, find it here, breathe out. Come on up, press and lunge, inhale. Hands down to the mat. Step your left foot back or three-legged push-up if you want it. Of the opening. Down dog, exhale. Breathe out. Take a few moments here to settle, to breathe, to find the space. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Letting go here. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and step or hop top of your mat. 
halfway lift, hands to your shins, look up. And then fold, press down with your heels coming up, hands to the sky, cross your arms here, find the mudra here, inhale, up. hands to our center, exhale. Take a moment here to settle, to breathe, to let go. Full breath in. And exhale, open, breathe out. Feels good, right guys? So we're gonna flow, one breath per movement. We're gonna be adding on, all right? A lot of strength, a lot of, you know, core strength. You really feel stable with that core, especially when you come into the asana, all right? Airplane pose. So let's go. Hands to the sky, big breath. Inhale, find the mudra here, breathe. Bow as you exhale, full breath out. Half lift, lengthen, chaturanga, honor of your knees, lower down. Up dog, down dog. Good, right leg up, inhale, breathe. Step it through, exhale, breath out. Coming up, crescent lunge, inhale, breathe, mudra. Exhale, chest forward, breath out. Left knee to your chest, cross your arms, hands to the sky, inhale. Asana, exhale, breath out. One more time like that. Breathe. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Moving on, guys. Inhale, breathe. Carwheel the hands down. Listen here. Stack your heels, fascistas, and a side plank. Find your mudra on your right hand. Breathe here. Push the mat away from you. Lift your right leg if you want. Breathe. Maybe you float your right arm over your right ear. You can always drop your left knee down to the mat. For three. Two. Last breath in. Hands down to the mat. Honor of your knees. Slow push up. Up dog. Down dog. Left side, same thing. Left leg up. Inhale. Step it. Coming up, crescent. Breathe. Chest forward, knee to your chest, hands up, inhale, digasana. One more, let's go, inhale, exhale, breath, and exhale. Moving on, guys, inhale, hands down, stack your heels, left arm up to the sky, vashistasana, side plank, open, mudra on the left side. Look up if you can. Push the mat away from you. Engage your core. For five. Four. Three. Two. Last breath in. Vinyasa or straight to down dog. Your choice. Up dog. Down dog. Round two. Let's go. Right leg. Inhale. Coming up, inhale, mudra. Exhale, chest forward. Left knee to your chest. Breathe and fly. One more, let's go. Inhale and exhale. And breath. And exhale. Moving on, inhale. Left hand down, Vashistasana. Three breaths only here, three. Two, last breath in, forearm, forearm plank guys, so come to your forearms and really squeeze your belly opening. Let's find it here, let's breathe. Good. Let him be here for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last breath in, all the way down to the mat. Baby cobra, as you open, as you breathe, finding downward facing dog, exhale, breath out. Same thing on the left side, left leg up, inhale, step up. Coming up, crescent and breathe, chest forward. Right knee to your chest, breathe, inhale, digasana, exhale, one more like that, let's go, inhale. Now we know it. Exhale. And breath. And exhale. Coming up, crescent lunge. Inhale. Hand down. Stacking your heels here. 
three breaths, Vashistasana, for three, two, last breath in, forearm plank, you guys, back to your forearms, letting go here, look forward, push the mat away from you, spread your fingertips, really feel grounded here, good, for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last breath in and slowly release. Come on up, baby. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Then we're facing dog. If you need a child, just take it. All right. Sounds good. We have one more, you guys. Right leg up to the sky. Inhale. Step it. Good. Come on up, crescent. Breathe. Chest forward. Inhale. And the gasana. Exhale. One more. Flow with me. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. And listen here. We're gonna come into keep your mudra here into eagle's pose. So in eagles, you really want to engage your core. You're gonna bring your right hand in front of you, left hand on top of you. Keep your mudra here. Breathe. Let's find it. Really find the space here, the breath. For five. Big part of, of this pose is really your core. Four. Three. Two. Last breath in. Full breath out. Straighten your knees. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Step it back. Come on up. Inhale. Find your Vashistasana, three breaths here. Mudra on your right hand, drop your left knee if you need to. For three, two, last breath in, four and plank, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last breath in, all the way down. Open up your chest here. We're gonna do a back bend here. Interlace your hands back of your spine. Lift your chest, lift your legs, squeeze your inner thighs, like you're squeezing a block right in between your thighs. Look forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last breath in and release, bend your knees, knees side to side, heels side to side, good, we have the other side, oh my god, I'm sweating here, <laughs> good workout guys, but it's so much more than a workout, right, we're flowing with our mudra, we're really calming our minds, so take a few moments here in down dog, we're gonna do the same thing on the left side, you guys, Left leg up, inhale, flex your foot. Step it right through, exhale. Come on up and crescent. Inhale, breathe. Chest forward. Right knee to your chest, cross your arms. Inhale, digasana, opening, breathe out. One more, let's go. Inhale and exhale. And breath. And find eagle pose here, so your right knee goes over. Right hand below, right hand left hand on top and just come keep your mudra here keep here notice that i'm tapping it right here and that's okay you can hook it and find in your balance engage your core here really find it for five lift your elbows four three two last breath in Full breath out, knee to your chest, hands to the sky, inhale, and slowly step it back. Come on up, crescent lunge, inhale, and find your Vashistasana. Three breaths here, left hand to your mudra here. Push the mat away from you. Good, flex your feet here, look up. For three, two, last breath in, and very slowly coming into your arm. Nice. Push your mat away from you. 
find it here, where is it here? Four, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last breath in and slowly release down. Coming up to baby cobra again, the chest up open and all the way down. Back with number two, you guys. You can just lift up or if you want to find both pose, grab your feet and come on up. Engage your inner thighs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last breath in and slowly release. Nice job, feel that low back. Side to side if you want. And very slowly, find a chest piece here. Let it go. Awesome guys, surrender. Hmm. So we've been doing a lot of work on your core and we're going to try, we're going to attempt a fun inversion, all right? So we're going to try to come into headstand, all right? Now I warn you guys, if you have any neck issues or if you have any, you know, high pressure issues or low pressure or any medical conditions that prevent you from inverting, don't worry about it, please skip this part and I'll give you an alternative to work on, all right? But if you wanna feel the inversion, please make sure to use a wall if you want to, please be very safe. You can kind of roly poly your way out of a headstand, but it's not fun. So if you're a beginner, the, the, you know, do whatever I'm doing, but do it by a wall and you can just change your mat and just go for it, all right? But what I want you to feel, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna go all the way into a headstand, what I want you to really feel is the strength of your core. All right, so that's what we're going for. Uh, headstands are not my favorite, you know, uh, but you know, I can really appreciate them and really, really, I'm gonna work on my core today, even if I don't go all the way up, all right? So let's come to it, all right. So for your headstand, the rule of thumb is you're gonna interlace your hands and you're gonna bring the hands here to your mat you're gonna place basically your head the crown of your head with your hands you're gonna cradle your head with your hands like this all right so make sure and typically what people tell you and i'm gonna turn this side so that you guys can see me you're gonna put your hands like that grab opposite forearms here and then bring your hands to your space here cradle your neck all right sorry cradle your head so your hands are gonna be in the back of your head here and the top of your head is gonna be on the mat, on the floor. All right, make sure you're padded here, all right? And you can watch me first, all right? You don't have to do it. Again, please do this by a wall if you need to. Super important, guys, all right? So same thing, you're gonna come, measure yourselves, bring, bring the hands here. Crown of the head, the top of your head is gonna go on the mat. Your hands are gonna be in the back of your head here. And you're gonna come into a pipe pose. And guess what, this is as much as you need to do, all right? You don't have to go anywhere else. This is really using your shoulders. You know, you feel the pressure in your head, but also your shoulders. You're pressing, pushing the mat away from you with your, with your elbows and your shoulders, all right? So you're not basically collapsing, all right? So again, please do this in on a wall if you need to. So that's step one, and if you don't wanna invert, that's as far as you as you go and that's awesome all right if you want to take it to the second step you come here you come to your head and you start to walk your hands forward and listen here maybe you feel it here you're gonna bend one knee and use your core here right you really have to use your core and your other knee here and maybe this is as far as you go all right really sensing your strength here from your core you really have to engage that core, guys. Belly button opening, all right? If you don't even engage that core, you know, it's just not gonna happen, all right? And from there, you're gonna feel that the distribution of your weight between your head and your shoulders is about 50-50, all right? So uh, really, really, really don't collapse into your neck because that's when a lot of the issues come with headstands, all right? And please, please be very mindful and careful. A wall is 
your friend for this next step because we're gonna lift up. All right, so you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna bring yourself, measure yourself, interlace your hands, come on up, walk your feet forward, feel the strength in your core, in your shoulders, breathe. And maybe here you start to lift up, all right? Again, a big part of it is trying not to fall forward. Squeeze your legs here, squeeze your legs. And once you find it, you're here. Nice. So everything's engaged here. Whenever you're ready, you come back and you find a child's pose. It's very important to never, never, ever <laughs> try to jump into a headstand. Not good for your neck, all right? Whereas in, in, in your Pincha Mayonasana, in your um, forearm stand, and I have a video here that you can check out, you can be kicking out because it's a lot harder to use your core to press up, all right? In a headstand, you don't want to be doing that because your neck is going to suffer, all right? So never, never try to attempt a headstand by jumping up. Maybe in a wall you can get away with it, all right? But if you fall over, then your neck is really gonna suffer, all right? So always, always find the strength from your core. Let's try it one more time. So again, come forward, knees, all right? Here, feel the strength, belly button opening. And you start here, all right? And from here, you lift up. And this is the hardest part, guys, because this is where you're like, oh my God, am I falling over? And no, you're not. All right, if you engage your core, if you engage your legs, squeeze your legs here. Breathe. Find that. And if you really want to use your core to come back, use the same exit, all right? Don't press it all the way back and find a child's pose. Very, very good job, you guys. Good. Find it, feel it, breathe it. Come to a seated position here. Coming into both pose. Lengthen the spine. If you can grab your feet with your fist fingers, bring them, lengthen the spine, lengthen, and start to straighten. Right here, sense here. Find your core here. Good. Oh, see, I'm falling down. So you're sitting on your sit bones here for five, four, three, two, Last breath in and slowly release. Breathe out, cross your feet and lift up here. Breathe out. One more boat, this time we're not gonna grab the feet. So you're gonna come here and just be here. You can straighten your knees if you need to, if that feels good, otherwise you're here. Really, really engaging your core for five. Lift up, don't collapse here, lift up. Four, three, Two, last full breath in and slowly release, breathe out. And very slowly, come on up to Sutta Bada Panasana, so also the feet together to touch, drop your knees to the side, just find the space of breath. Nice job, you guys. Oh. You're gonna bring your knees to your chest. Keep your right knee with you, extend your left leg out, and just sense it here, breathe it here. Just bring your knee to your chest. 
if you're very flexible if you have a strap you can put a strap around your foot if you can grab your knee sorry your your toes just bring your knee to your chest really press down your left side with your left hand just settle here just breathe close your eyes You can come to your mudra on your left side. And slowly bring your right knee to the left side. Open. your right leg out, bring your right hand to your right hip bone here and your left knee to your chest. And just be here. If you want to grab your, your foot, grab it and just bring it. And you're kind of resistant here. This is so good to reset your hip here. Very good for the SI joint. Good. So you're pulling with your arm and you're resisting with your leg. It's very active. Close your eyes. Mudra maybe on your right hand. Last inhale and find your spinal twist. Find it here again. If this is too intense, bend both knees and breathe out. Make sure both shoulders are touching the mat. Close your eyes. Maybe mudra in your Very slowly extending your legs. Finishing up with another inversion. If you're not inverting, stay here in Supta Baddha Konasana. If you want to come to shoulder stand, start in that man's pose, in plow pose. Oh, I'm going to have to. There we go. Yes, bring your hands to your middle of your back and extend your legs here. Open. Don't look around. All right, not good for your neck. If your feet are touching the mat, then you can extend it here. Right. Just let go. If you like to come into that man's pose, bringing your knees and hugging your ears, go for it. For me, it feels good right here in plow pose. Breathe it. Sense it. It feels so good on the low back. And then slowly come into shoulder stand. And just hold a few to tight breaths. Don't look around in shoulder stand. feel ready you can keep there or you can come back to plow pose good bring your hands down and very slowly one vertebra at a time you're gonna start to bring your legs down all right your hands are underneath your sacrum here you're gonna point your toes come to your elbows and come into push with my right here Slowly releasing into your final relaxation, Shavasana. I'm gonna be here for a little bit so you can quickly surrender. Palms face on. Just let it be.
to a comfortable seat, please take your time, don't rush it. As to your knees, bump straight up. Come to your mood up here and just sit on it. like this class i'd love to hear from you keep liking keep subscribing and i will catch you next time in the meantime namaste